Some investors are worried that Nvidia's stock might not go any higher. However, the facts show that these concerns are not supported. Since early 2023, Nvidia NVDA has seen an incredible rise, but it has recently slowed down. The stock has gone up 730% since the start of last year, but in the last three months it has dropped by about 4%. Several issues have affected the stock. There are fears of a possible slowdown in the use of generative artificial intelligence AI, rumors of delays in NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell platform, concerns about a drop in the company's gross margins, and worries that the stock's price might be too high. Because of this, some investors are concerned that the stock may have peaked. However, a closer look at the facts shows that while these concerns are understandable, they are mostly unwarranted. There is still a lot of potential for NVIDIA to grow, and I believe the stock will continue to hit new all-time highs through 2025. Here's why. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. A speed bump in the adoption of AI? The accelerating adoption of AI has helped fuel the run-up in technology stocks since the start of 2023, but investors have begun to wonder if that breakneck pace could continue. There's evidence that suggests it can. To close out the calendar second quarter, Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon, and Meta platforms all announced plans to increase capital expenditures, CapEx, for the remainder of 2024, while also laying out plans for significant increases next year. The vast majority of that spending will be allocated to outfitting the servers and data centers needed to support AI. Since these tech titans are NVIDIA's biggest customers, this suggests the company's growth streak has legs. Taking a step back and looking at the big picture can also provide context. Generative AI is expected to add between $2.6 trillion and $4.4 trillion to the global economy in the coming years, according to estimates provided by management consulting firm McKinsey & Company. This suggests that the adoption of AI will continue for the foreseeable future. Blackwell is on track. In early August, reports surfaced that NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell chips could face delays of up to three months due to production issues. This news caused NVIDIA's stock to dip as investors grew concerned about the potential impact. However, when NVIDIA released its quarterly results at the end of August, CFO Colette Kress addressed the situation clearly. We shipped customer samples of our Blackwell architecture in the second quarter. We made a change to the Blackwell GPU mask to enhance production yield. The production ramp for Blackwell is set to begin in the fourth quarter and will continue into fiscal year 2026. During the fourth quarter, we expect to generate several billion dollars in revenue from Blackwell. This statement indicates that the reported delays were largely unfounded. Fears regarding slowing growth are myopic. When NVIDIA reported the results for its fiscal 2025 second quarter, which ended on July 28th, there were many positives. The company achieved record quarterly revenue, record data center revenue, and strong profits. However, investors focused on two issues in NVIDIA's otherwise outstanding results. The first issue was the gross margin, which dropped from a record 78.4% in the first quarter to 75.1% in the second quarter. During the earnings call, Chief Financial Officer Colette Kress explained that the decline was due to a combination of product mix and inventory provisions related to the rollout of Blackwell. Despite this, NVIDIA is projecting gross margins for the rest of the year to stay in the mid-70% range. While this is below the first quarter's record level, it is still significantly higher than NVIDIA's 10-year average gross margin of 62%. The second concern for some investors was NVIDIA's forecast for the third fiscal quarter, which ends in late October. The company expects to achieve record revenue of $32.5 billion, representing growth of 79%.
This is a slower rate compared to the triple-digit growth NVIDIA has seen in each of the last five quarters, but it remains a remarkable performance. Smart investors anticipated that NVIDIA's growth rate would eventually slow, especially as the company faces challenging comparisons to last year. However, NVIDIA's revenue growth is still exceptional and should be understood within that context. Not as pricey as you might think. One of the main concerns surrounding NVIDIA is the belief that the stock is overly expensive. This perspective is understandable since the stock is currently trading at 57 times its earnings, compared to a price-to-earnings ratio of 30 for the S&P 500. However, for investors who take a step back, NVIDIA may not seem as expensive as it first appears. Looking at the stock chart, you'll notice that NVIDIA is trading slightly below its average price-to-earnings ratio over the last decade. Additionally, over the past 10 years, NVIDIA's stock has increased by more than 25,000%, showing that it has earned, and still earns, a premium. When we look to the future, the stock appears even more affordable. Wall Street analysts are predicting earnings per share of $4.02 for the upcoming fiscal year, which begins in late January. Based on this, NVIDIA is currently trading at less than 29 times its forward earnings at the time of writing, making it a good deal, especially given the company's ongoing growth potential, an objective view. Given the rise in NVIDIA's stock since early last year, it's understandable that investors are pausing to assess the situation. However, it's evident that the concerns impacting the stock are not as significant as they seem. NVIDIA's biggest customers are still investing heavily in its products. Its next-generation platform is progressing as planned, its gross margin remains close to a record high, and its valuation is not as expensive as it might seem at first glance. All of this points to a bright future for NVIDIA, and I believe the stock will continue to climb to new levels well into 2025. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.